Hello, Tall Jeff here. I'm gonna be bottling some beer today. I had the problem, luckily, where I need to make room so I can brew more beer. And I have a really big uh, double IPA on tap on my kegerator right now, and then a hard seltzer for my dad on the other one. So the double IPA is moving slower because I can only drink so much of it before I am inebriated. So I am gonna do bottling Gone Fishing today. Gone Fishing is a 3% beer, no bitter hop, just flavor and aroma, lemon drop with a little bit of lemon and a fair amount of hibiscus. Um, so it should be easy to drink and I won't get too inebriated. So I'm gonna bottle it so that when I go fishing, I can drink that. All right, first step of the bottles is two cases of bottles. Two cases of bottles makes five gallons of beer quite comfortably. So first step is to get these guys clean because as you can tell, they're not clean. All right, let's start. All right, we have five gallons of hot water. I added PBW. Now we need to get them into the bottles so that they can soak for 30 minutes per PBW's instructions. Um, and then we will drill it out with the uh, bottle um, brush. All right. First one of uh, about 48. All right, I'm gonna do this 48 more times and then I will come back to you. All right, all 48 bottles now have hot water and PBW. Now we wait 30 minutes, 30 minutes have passed. These are all uh, hot water and PBW cleaned. Now I take this, put it in here. Give it a good uh, clean. Do that 48 times. I will spare you watching me do it all 48 times because I wouldn't want to watch that either. Be back when all these are done. All right, now they've all been bottle brushed. Now I'm gonna do this to all 48. Wash it off and then use the hose over there. Rinse them out and then star sand. So these were all full of PBW detergent. Um, ran water through them all twice, dumped it out. Now they're empty. Now we need to add star sand so that they can be disinfected. I'm gonna do this 48 times. So I will turn this off so you don't have to watch it all. And when we come back, all these will be full of star sand and I will have dumped them out and let them air dry. And then we will start prepping the beer for the bottles. These are full of sanitizer. What we're gonna do, shake them up. Empty it out, stick it upside down in fresh boxes to air dry. I'm gonna repeat that for all 48, and then we're gonna get the uh, beer ready um, with the sh priming sugar and into here and get the, uh, I forget what this is called, siphon tube um, with star sand from there. So that's next, but first 48 bottles need to be emptied and flipped for air drying. Our beer bottles are upside down, drying, so the star sand works. Make sure all those bubbles are gone and drained out before you start. So that means you need to get your priming sugar together. I went to Northern Brewer's website. I wanted three uh, volumes of CO2, so it's telling me to use 4.41 ounces of table sugar for four and a half gallons. You never get a full five out of those carboys. So, 4.4 ounces. We have a Keurig maker. This is an easy way to get sugar into hot water. All right, next step is to rack the beer into the bottling tank. Um, as you can see, I have a little thing at the bottom, so I just get it going and put it down there and let it do its thing. 
plus you want a little bit of yeast for bottles. <sighs> now, if you had a perfect setup, there wouldn't be grass in here. But uh, you don't want any bubbling. You don't want any oxidation. So, try to do that. bubbles up there. Let's put this down here. Alright, I'm gonna let that I'm gonna let this finish and then uh, move on to the next step. Beer is racked. This is sanitized. That doesn't need to be. Um, got my priming sugar right here. It's cooled down. Add it in. Can use the Northern Brewing calculator. Makes life simple. And the Keurig makes it even simpler. Give it a good stir. Try not to oxygenate the water. And if you're just careful, I've never had an issue with oxygenation on the uh, bottles at all. Just be mindful of it. All right. Once this is all stirred in. I'll get the bottles in here and we'll start bottling uh, and the bottle caps. I have a good trip for that. All right, we are now finally bottling. Got our beer with the priming sugar in it. We got our beers being filled. Got 48 of them to go. We got our gravity, which I'll check to make, to make sure everything's finished out. It always is, so I'm not that worried. And then when I am done with all the bottling, move on to capping. And a trick for the caps is put star sand in a red cup, fill the uh, red cup up with 50 bottle caps. Yeah, you won't use all 50, but sometimes they're slippery and they fall in the dirt. So it's good to have extra. All right, be by capping here very shortly. All right, all my bottles are full. Prime sugar and beer. Capstone is sitting in sanitizer. So now, Put it on, put it under, cap it. I got approximately 36 six pack plus one bomber. But two of those were bombers, so about 40 beers out of the five gallons. You never get all 48, but uh, you can always attempt to. So I'm gonna keep on doing this for a little bit. Also, the beer tastes really damn good. I'm looking forward to this on my fishing trips. But uh, I'll keep doing this, and then uh, when it's all done, I'll show you how I store it and how I label it. And uh, this should be the video, how to bottle beer. All right, cheers, guys. Be back in a minute. All right, I'm all finished with the brew. Everything's uh, bottled. Now they need to be labeled. So what I do is I buy these Hello My Name Is stickers. Um, I believe it's 250 for like eight dollars. Then I write net what it is. Go on. Efficient. It's a 24 IBU, and it is a 3.4 percent. And I put it up here. It's a nail. It's not an IPA, it's not a pale, it's a nail. Just has, crosses a couple boundaries, we're calling it a nail. So this is how I make my uh, sticker. And then from there, I make 37 of them. This is how many total balls I have with bombers. Take it off. This is where I store my beer, um, all temperature control. And then I come in here, and grab it when I have them all made. I'll be doing here shortly. Place the label on. And now you know what the beer is. And I'll do that for all of them here shortly. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's how I do my bottling. There are easier, better ways. Um, it's just how I've found to do it. I'm sure if you have a better idea, let me know. I'll give it a try. Otherwise, go ahead and subscribe down in the bottom corner. Um, I make fishing and home brewing videos. It's what I do on my weekend. It's what I enjoy. So I hope you enjoyed it too. Have a good day.